Welcome to Coffee with Viking. I am Mike. Cheers. Today's devotion, one in Christ Jesus. Jeremiah 54. In those days and in that time, declares the Lord, the people of Israel and the people of Judah shall come together weeping as they come, and they shall seek the Lord their God. In today's reading, Jeremiah prophesies about the glorious homecoming of the Jews at the overthrow of Babylon as the people of Judah return home. They will weep and seek the Lord their God. It's a beautiful picture of the various tribes coming together as one people. In John 17, 11, Jesus prayed, I am no longer in the world, but they who are, but they, those whom the Father had given him are in the world and I am coming to you. Holy Father, keep them in your name, which you have given me, that they may be one, even as we are one. God's plans, God's plan has always been for his people to come together and be one. Few Christians would dispute this, but it's much more difficult in practice. Do you know the name of the pastor of the church across the street from yours? When is the last time you served with believers who don't share your theology? Don't wait for someone, don't wait for something catastrophic to occur before bonding with fellow believers. They are your brothers and sisters in Christ. Love them now. And not all of us who serve will follow 100% the same belief system. But the one thing that we do share is knowing that Jesus Christ died for our sins on the cross, that he is our Lord and our Savior, and that without him we would be lost. That is the most important of all Christian belief, is that we were created by God and that Jesus is God and that he went to the cross and died for our sins as the perfect sacrifice. Father, may your body be one, even as you are one with Jesus and the Holy Spirit. God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit are one, yet three separate beings. We are also one with them, but yet separate beings as we are us. And we're not going to see things the same way. We're just going to see the important things the same. We're close to it. So don't count out another believer because he sees things just a smidge different than you. Because you guys can learn something from one another. And you both could be on the right path. Because while there is one way to God, and that is through Jesus Christ... God will take us down different paths. We are not going to be on the same road. We may be on the same path, but we won't be on the same road. We may be facing different things, different challenges. We will be facing different sins. So always be willing to help a fellow brother and sister in Christ out. And don't criticize them because they're a little different. 
just show love and know that God, he's got this. And that in the end, if our hearts and our minds and our spirits are in the right place, we will be in the right place when all this is said and done. Because Jesus is the one that will be leading us. Just trust in Jesus and his leadership. In his leadership. Stay blessed. Stay caffeinated. Stay strong in his holy word. Much love.